you know, self-hatred and, um, you know, running away from your race or dating outside of your race and all that stuff, you know, it starts in the school. So this little boy, you know, uh, he was told by his school that his, by that his haircut was too extreme and that it would get in the way of him learning. Now look at his haircut. <coughs> it's not covering, bless you, thank you. It's not covering his face or anything like that. Pretty, pretty, uh, little cute little, um, uh, boy, you know what I'm saying? Not, not like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, He's a little, a little handsome little kid and all that stuff. Look very smart and all that stuff with his little glasses and all that stuff. Look like he has good grades and all that stuff. Don't miss school. But, you know, his mom had to come to respond to this school where they basically uh, stop, I guess, basically said that he couldn't have that haircut because it's too extreme. So what it is is when, when we as black people wear our hair in our natural states, it bothers white people. They just hate it. That's why they don't love a black woman who's wearing a weave or a wig or something like that. For black women wearing afro, oh, they might have all types of problems against that. That's why when you go to a lot of corporate jobs, you see black women wearing weave and wigs and all that stuff. Some black men, too, they won't like you wearing afro. They don't want your hair cut down. The only reason I get a haircut is just because when my hair grow out, it, it, it gets all curly and all that stuff and all that. And then they, and it don't really look right. It don't puff up into an afro. My hair don't grow that much. If it could grow into an afro, I'll get a shape up and then, you know, just keep a little mini fro. But, you know, I hope this little boy going to be okay. More than likely, the mom's going to follow the school's order because she wants her son to return to school as soon as possible. But I just want to point out just how self-hatred and how, you know, some black men and black women who run away from their own people, this is how it starts. It starts in school. The indoctrination education of America. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, share the video. I'll talk to you in the next one.